Now, I wonder how many of you saw the TV debate last night. I have to say, I thought Jeremy was an impressive performer and a tough adversary. Well prepared, on top of his brief, knew the policy inside out, persistent to the last. He never gave up. Jeremy Paxman definitely still has it. <laughs> Now, the strange thing about general election campaigns is that you don't often get to see your opponent close up. But last night, I did. I saw Jeremy Corbyn close up on television, and what I saw was revealing. Despite being a member of parliament for 34 years, despite being the leader of the Labour Party for the last two years, he's simply not ready to govern and not prepared to lead. He's not prepared to use the nuclear deterrent. He's not prepared to take action against terrorists. He's not prepared to give the police the powers they need to keep us safe. He's not prepared to take a single difficult decision for the good of our economy. He's not prepared to answer questions about his long track record of supporting people who want to harm and even attack our country. And with the Brexit negotiations due to begin only 11 days after polling day, he is not prepared for those negotiations. But I am prepared. Prepared to take the difficult decisions that leadership demands. Prepared to do what is necessary to protect and defend our country. Prepared to go into the negotiating chamber with the European Union just 11 days after polling day. I am prepared. I'm ready to go. Jeremy Corbyn is not. Because last night confirmed that only one of us has the determination to deliver the will of the people and make Brexit happen. And only one of us has the plan to make Brexit a success. Last night showed that Jeremy Corbyn's minders can put him in a smart blue suit for an interview with Jeremy Paxman. But with his position on Brexit, he will find himself alone and naked in the negotiating chamber of the European Union. Now, I know that's an image that doesn't bear thinking about. 